hi everybody welcome to little ruby's daycare encounters youtube channel where you emphasize where we emphasize play-based learning wellness and research-based solutions to issues in early childhood education if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like share you know um hit the subscribe button share our videos help us grow this research-based educative channel <laughs> so today i just want to do a quick video about february if february is one of the busiest months for learning because okay let me let me start with this in february we have black history month right we have um groundhog day right we have word kindness day okay we have valentine's day we have mardi gras you know look at all those <laughs> look at all those activities that we we have in february and the thing about teaching preschoolers or actually teaching any any group of children is that it's very important that you include whatever is going on in the society, in the community, at a particular time into your teaching, into the lessons, into the curriculum. So in February, <laughs> we're going to be um, having to talk about Black History Month. We're going to talk about Word Kindness Day, Valentine's Day, Mardi Gras, and the first one, which is uh, February 2nd, is Groundhog Day. Okay, so I have a couple of activities out here, and this is by no means inclusive of everything we're going to be um, doing in, in February. Because we do have... Um, we do have to make some Valentine car um, Valentine Day cards. We're gonna be doing some kindness bracelets. We're going to be doing picnics. You know, all kinds of fun activities because this is a fun month. This is a month where we emphasize love. I mean, we should emphasize love every day. You know, but Valentine's Day, um, Black History Month. Word Kindness Day, all of those activities, Mardi Gras, you know, they give us an opportunity to teach love, to teach kindness, and to teach children to be nice to one another. Okay. So this is um, our February, see that? It's our February curriculum. I just put it out from the folder, from the binder, and you can see Themes, letters, shapes, numbers, colors, science, social studies. Okay, week one, Groundhog Day, Valentine Day, President's Day, Mardi Gras. Uh, they're going to be talking about letter C and D. And, and I'm not going to go into letters today. But as we do these activities, I'm going to be making videos of them. So our shape, what else? Our shape for February is the heart. Our numbers are four and five. Remember, we did three and four in January. Colors are uh, red. We're talking about red, red, red in February. In, for science, we're talking about time and shadows. Uh, shadows have a lot to do with Groundhog Day. So we're going to be talking about time, clock, shadows, and all of that good stuff. And um, for social studies, we're going to be talking about love and kindness and sharing and listening and all the good stuff. So where do I start from? Okay, I'm going to start from here. So since COVID, we've been working on this, um, you know, just so the children can learn the way to be safe you know uh, with COVID-19 and this is from prekinders.com um you can see the, the very simple uh, instructions and and I like that the characters are multicultural and don't forget what I said about diversity it's always important to include it in your lessons so this is very beautiful simple easy to explain and we do this as much as we can um we've been doing this as much as we can since covid so they they actually know them when they see the pictures when i turn the page they know this this is an amazing way to keep them aware 
you know, of being safe in groups and around their family, at home, wherever they go. This is um, an amazing resource. And I got this from prekinders.com. So we will do that. And then I want to show you something else. We do have this heart and dice game. And it's very simple. I have a lot of these hearts. Either they're counting them or they're matching them. We're using them for all kinds of activities. So how does this game go? We just need only one of these die. Now these wooden dice, I got from, excuse me, I got these from a parent and I will cherish them forever. They are not going to break. They are durable. I just love them. And uh, she gave them to me. I was like, yes, yes. I had um, some plastic dice before, but now that i have this it's, it's amazing so uh of and of course they these these uh these are spread all over the classroom you know so they can count them and the child just um moves that and you get two and we're counting two hearts and there we go okay so that's just a simple activity that we're going to be doing uh, throughout February okay so we know that uh, February is Grand Hog Day uh, sorry February 2nd is Grand Hog Day uh, for Grand Hog Day we usually I mean it's it's gonna be kind of boring for the children but we usually try to watch snippets of the show on TV you know and talk about the Grand Hog and um these these grand hog cards i've had them for a while i found them on google laminated them and we use them for all kinds of games we use them for matching games we use them for matching games we use them for counting and we use them for patterns okay and let me show you how we use them for patterns so this one's a this kind of uh this is a different kind of groundhog from this one so we have one of these 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 so this is a uh this is a fun way to teach patterns too and it is an amazing game the children love them and these groundhogs are the most friendless you will ever find okay so talking more about groundhogs i found this online and that is from cbc.ca, www.cbc.ca kids. And um, I just think they're cute. Uh, they have different little facts about grand hogs. And we use these in February and to talk about grand hogs. And we talk about hibernation. We talk about shadows. Uh, they have all kinds of outdoor activities where we go out, we draw our shadows, we do measurements. I mean, it's, it's a lot um, in February. It's a lot for the teacher, you know, who's planning the lessons, but the children are having fun. It, it, you know, February is one of the funnest months for the kids. So that's Puxo Tony Phil. I hope I said that right. I've never been able to say that word. <laughs> okay, so um, for the Groundhog Day, we talk about all of these and all the little nice facts about um, groundhogs. And we're going to be doing different kinds of activities about um, hibernation, you know, talking about burrowing and all those kinds of um, groundhog related terms for February. Talking about kindness, you know, there are some character words that are associated with kindness and one of them is sorry being able to say you're sorry or being able to accept sorry from someone else um, makes the world a better place you know and sometimes also when um sometimes you're not even wrong but you you say sorry just to make peace and let um you know and let everything just go smoothly and nicely so one of our character words is sorry another one is thank you it's always good to be 
grateful and appreciative of people of things of um you know when when people give you things you you know you have to appreciate it the more you appreciate people and things around you the more you're gonna be getting good stuff so we talk about sorry we talk about thank you we talk about helping others and it's in the pictures these pictures are uh, self-explanatory you know but um, we still talk about them and um, these children they do even when it's not February they get a lot of uh, they get prizes they get gifts for being kind to each other and sometimes even if they don't get gifts I mention it say uh, you know I, I say for instance I can say John I'm so proud of you for being so nice to you know whoever so excuse me Cover your mouth when you cough. Being safe, keeping your germs to yourself is kindness to others. So excuse me uh, when you cough or sneeze or yawn. And um, and share. Sharing is a big thing. With my group, they are learning to share. They are not very good at sharing. And it's okay. Even adults have problems with sharing. So why, why would we expect children to be... 100 percent shares so they are still learning they are still um learning about sharing sharing all kinds of things and um, mostly toys here and we're working on that but um share is one of it so share excuse me help uh, help others thank you and sorry this was a very short video like i said it was going to be um as we work through this uh, the month of february as we do our various activities uh we're going to i'm going to be posting videos of them we're going to have a festival for mardi gras you know so i'm going to post videos of that we're going to make crafts for valentine's day and we're going to be reading a lot of black authored books and talking about black history in a very minimum way you know to uh uh, age appropriate lessons about that and then we're gonna be talking about being kind to one another which is actually <laughs> being kind to one another is a lesson we do here all year round because kids are still learning kindness you know so um it's a lesson we teach over and over and over again so thank you all for staying tuned i just want to say i appreciate every one of you Thank you for always coming for uh, my videos, for liking. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. You're helping this channel when you do. Please share, share, share. There are other videos um, on this channel. You know, you can watch them. You can share them. And um, thank you so much. And I'll see you in our next video. Bye.